Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Prices are now dropping again on this constantly volatile FIFA 22 Ultimate Team market as there is panic selling heading into tomorrow's Ones to Watch promo. Now, we were talking about this. We were starting to expect it. We talked about it in last night's video, but it happened yesterday. We started to see prices drop off and there are some big big price drops on a lot of cards. So I want to talk about, again, why that is happening, what to expect today with Division Rivals rewards, some updates on that, and Team of the Week 2. I want to talk about that and how those cards are really cheap on the market because of that lack of just uh, sense to buy a team. A lot of people are doing some preparation to sell before all the, the supply that is expected to happen and packs that are expected to be open on Friday. So one quick note, if you're liking these videos on the channel, the support has been absolutely unreal. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you're liking them. And of course, subscribe if you are new. A couple quick little, I guess, tidbits of information here. This is a bit unfortunate. EA just tweeted this out an hour ago. You're not going to be able to claim division rivals for this week. You're not going to be able to claim your division rivals rewards on the companion app or on the web app. That's very disappointing. I'm not sure why they changed this. Supposedly there's some issues with it. And also they're changing the incorrect playoff foot playoff rewards for displaying an incorrect number of finals qualifications. Uh, so I guess the biggest thing is you won't be able to attain your division rivals rewards via companion or web app today. And there's also going to be some server downtime here in the next basically hour or so for a two hour period after this video goes live. So that is a bit unfortunate, um, but it is what it is. And I want to take a look at some of these price drops because again, just scrolling through some of these prices and probably being on the market yesterday and even right now, you guys have noticed that these cards have really dropped off a lot. Take a look. It's, it's across the whole entire market as well. High tier cards, low tier cards everywhere, right? This is people preparing for what they think is going to be a big market crash with the supply on Friday. Take a look at Lacroix, 39,000 coins right now at the moment. He was 45k, 44, 45k earlier in the day yesterday on Wednesday. And you can see this big drop off after the middle of the day into the evening. You see a big drop off on the market. Take a look at Holland. Holland was 97k all the way down to 89,000 coins. And if you take a look at it as a whole, the index 100 on the FIFA Ultimate Team market, this is the PlayStation market, of course, going from 99 points all the way down to 91. Now, this is 100% brought on by people selling cards ahead of this Friday. This is 100% what it is. The team of the week today didn't cause people to panic sell. It's people that are preparing for cards to drop. So they're selling them and then probably going to look to buy them back as they're hoping the opening of packs, the FIFA points, the supply will drop some of these cards on Friday. But again, just like we saw earlier this week with the, the 4,600 FIFA point supply, a lot of those lowest prices were actually even before those packs were open. I want to talk about that a little bit today uh, in this video because I think we're going to see more selling today on Thursday. Again, a lot of people are looking at these prices and they're saying, man, Holland 89K, I think that's dropped too much. Lukaku at 60,000 coins. I think that's dropped too much. Yes, that has dropped a lot. And with Division Rivals rewards today, you, you'll probably have some people on FIFA that will be going out claiming their rewards from Rivals when they get on the game and opening those packs and maybe going out and try to improve their teams. But I really feel like what you have right now is just a lot of people that have sold cards and are going to continue to sell cards and they're going to be sitting and waiting. And these people are sitting and waiting to see prices that they like and prices continue to go down and they're waiting until Friday to buy back into the cards that they want to have for their team. So a lot of cards look really, really low. But again, I'm not sure if this is an investment opportunity where we can buy some of these cards to try to flip them. I think it's going to be only a very small amount and a very select few number of cards that might go up today on the market because I feel like the people, the reason why they're selling and the reason why you're seeing the market drop off this much is because people are selling looking ahead to Friday, right? And with that reasoning, I really don't see a market bounce back today. But one thing we can look out for is cards getting super duper low because if you remember, everybody was scared about Monday's supply and the lowest point at that moment was like early Sunday morning heading into Monday as the FIFA points were maybe starting to come out. So Kind of what we're going to be looking for, maybe Thursday night, tonight, into Friday, maybe into the midday Friday, kind of watching some of these prices on the high tier meta players or even the most popular players on this game 
and we know that they're going to be rising after Friday, but the point is, when are they going to be getting to those low points? Also, we are due some price range updates. We have Renato Sanchez, Hakimi, Usman Dembele, and a couple other cards. I think Marquinhos is almost extinct. Kempembe is now extinct on this game. Um, Vin Vinicius is showing as extinct, but I don't believe that is correct. He is he's 32K and extinct. That's crazy to me. I think that's pretty nuts. He's going to get supplied a lot this weekend, and I do think he, that he is going to drop down um, on this market as well. But you have a lot of cards that are close to that extinction threshold, and I do think their price range are going to get updated, which is going to make for some more interesting movements. And I think EA will update those price ranges before Friday. So again, if you have Hakimi, Renato Sanchez, any of those extinct cards, be on the lookout for a price range update, um, and, and maybe those cards rising up after that, especially after this weekend. Now, again, with this market drop off that we're talking about, we talked about it a little bit last night as what to expect, but I want to take a look again at some of the cards last year where the same exact thing happened, right? You saw a peak on Tuesday, Wednesday, and then into Thursday and Friday, these prices fell. Take a look at Conte last year in FIFA 21, right? 386 down to 365. Boom. A week later, he's back up at 400K because people bought him back up. Even some of the lower tier, more meta cards, 83 rated Lucas, right? He went to 85K, peaked on Wednesday, went down over the weekend to 79,000 coins, then rose back up to 86K after that first weekend when a lot of packs were open and a lot of demand comes on to the market. Even a, a sub 80 rated card in this Sissoko went from a peak on Wednesday at 47K down to 41 and then up to 50. So basically what we're seeing right now this year in FIBA 22, we, what we saw on Wednesday with prices being high Tuesday night into Wednesday was this peak. And what we saw yesterday in later stages of Wednesday heading into today on Thursday and what I think is going to continue happening today is prices continuing, continuing to dwindle down, continuing to drop lower as people sell cards that they have in their teams that they think are going to go lower on Friday. So this is, again, going to be a situation where it's, it's harder to just um, trade with stuff on the market because a lot of people are going to be not buying. They're just going to be waiting. They're going to be sitting on cards, maybe rocking with the cheaper team or running with some untradeables that they may have. And they're waiting for a time to buy, which is going to be a lot of pent up demand that's going to be sitting and waiting for Friday. But again, it, it hurts kind of right now, right? It hurts kind of right now. I lost coins today. I'll be completely honest with you guys. I definitely lost some coins today, especially with team of the week two. I want to talk about that. Uh, but some of these cards, yes, we did make some coins back with the chemistry style trading. You know, trading with some of these cards with position changes as well. But a lot of these Abamyangs I sold here at the end, like 57, 56,000 coins. These Ub Makanos I bought at 23K, 24K. I'm basically breaking even after tax on these uh, because I thought they were going to go up, right? I bought these Mbabus at 20, 24,000 coins. I'm losing a little bit here, right? I'm losing on these Felipe Andersons. I bought this one for 79,000 coins. The dude is now 49K. And that just goes to show you that right now, nobody wants to buy anything right now on this market. So that makes it very, very interesting to trade and to try to fluctuate and trade and to find cards that are going to go up in price if you're trying to make a quick coin on the market. Now, I do think these Team of the Week 2 cards are very, very cheap. And I want to take a look at this Team of the Week 2 because it is very interesting to see what happened on the market yesterday and how low these prices are. I think Team of the Week 2 is uber Uber cheap, man. Benzema at 132K. Felipe Anderson, you're telling me that this Felipe Anderson card, who is four star, four star, I know that he is in the Serie A and nobody's used to the new Lazio club badge inside of FIFA, uh, but he is a Brazilian four star, four star right wing card with basically 90 pace, really good stats. He's got the finesse shot trait, which is overpowered in this game. And you're telling me that this card is an inform with a dynamic image is 46,000 coins. It's crazy, right? I think this Nkunku as a center mid, center defensive mid box to box with the stats that he has and the links that he has, 37K, crazy cheap. Benzema, crazy cheap. Barella, crazy cheap. Jesus Navas being one of the only right backs in La Liga with an inform, crazy cheap. Zakaria, crazy cheap, man. All of this team of the week is just really, really cheap right now. But I don't think that it goes flying. I don't think that it goes flying today. I honestly think that we're going to have to wait until Friday with more supply. And when people finally decide to say, okay, now is the time where I'm supposed to buy my team to see this stuff go up. Now, some of these cards might move up today with rewards a little bit because you still will have 
a small percentage of the FIFA population that will be thinking, hey, I still need to upgrade my team. They won't be worried about the market that much. Some of the casuals will probably be out today upgrading some of their squads with some of these players that are in the team of the week or you know with some of the coins that they do get from division rivals rewards so i would keep my eyes out for some of these team elite cards going up but again the big point i'm making today is i'm not expecting a big rise whether it's on gold cards whether it is on um some of those cards that we saw drop off yesterday low tier cards mid tier cards high tier i'm not expecting a big rise maybe a very small uptick uh from people that do get their rewards but I'm not expecting a big rise because, again, people are waiting. They're pulling back and they're waiting to buy stuff until Friday. So, again, with all the panic selling that happened yesterday on FIFA, even some of the out-of-packs cards were getting panic sold. Take a look at the team of the week. You see this Vinicius back up to around 200K. Look at his crazy grab from yesterday. He was 205,000 coins. There was a couple hours of panic selling with the new team of the week coming out and people being told or, or deciding for whatever reason to start selling these cards. He went down to 187,000 coins and did then rise back up. But you saw so much panic selling yesterday. It was crazy. Star was like 44,000 coins. He went down to 38K, is now back up to 42. Salah was down to like 520. He was over like 630K. Uh, before yesterday in the panic selling so it's just crazy to see all of the panic selling that is going on in this game right now now i want to take a just a quick break from all of the market stuff and talk about ones to watch for a second because we also talked about ones to watch in yesterday's video but messi ronaldo lukaku we knew about those guys being confirmed we had brand new ones to watch as confirmed yesterday Andre Silva, Saul, Denzel Dumfries, Anderson Taliska, Daniel Malin, and Kamavinga, of course, are guaranteed ones to watch cards. Actually, Fabrizio Romano uh, was the one who kind of showed these on his Instagram story. So now we have 15, 15 of the 28 total ones to watch cards uh, are going to be in, uh, they're already guaranteed. We already know them uh, ahead of time. So that is very, very interesting. I wonder if we'll figure out a couple more. But if you guys are looking to potentially make a couple more of those ones to watch investments, we've seen some prices drop on the market. This could be an opportunity if you think it's going to be a card that would go into packs. Even a guy like Lukaku, who's guaranteed to be in ones to watch. It's so interesting to see his price drop off so much because he's already guaranteed to be going out of packs either tomorrow on Friday or next week on the Friday after. So it's so interesting to see these movements on the market and to see these cards drop off even when their prices could potentially going up. So if, if there's, you know, like a Griezmann uh, or, you know, some of these cards that could be in ones to watch, seeing their prices drop off could open up a investment window here in the next day or so before we get to Friday. So again, the prices dropping off really, really shows me that a lot of people are selling ahead of Friday. And that means there's probably not gonna be a lot of buying power today, which again, as people are worrying about Friday and what is gonna be happening on the game, yes, you might see a couple prices bounce back. You know, some of the higher tier cards, uh, like De Bruyne, like Ronaldo, and those types of items, we haven't seen a lot of panic selling on these. Like De Bruyne's right around 190K, right? That's kind of where he's been. Rashford, 165. Bruno, 180. That's right where they've been, right? So the, the cards that are getting sold off the most are your lower tier ones that people are worried about getting packed, right? And Babu, like we looked at, Oop Meccano is another one. People are selling these cards right now in the game because they're low rated and they're worried about them getting packed and supplied on Friday. Now, these cards are going to get packed and supplied, but there's also so much demand for them that they are going to rise up later. So just keep an eye on them. Keep an eye on how the prices drop today on Thursday. We're going to have marquee matchups today, which will probably bring more supply, more pack supply to this game as well, which would be another reason for some of these cards. If there's nobody buying, what is marquee matchups going to do? It's going to drop some of the prices on this game even more. So watch out for new marquee matchups to be released today. I don't know if we'll get a new player SBC. Uh, will we finally get the Kamavinga objective that is going to be coming out? I do not entirely know, but that'll be something to kind of just play into the market as well. One interesting thing, icons, if you, if you take a look at the index icon, which I'll show you here in a second. Now we, we looked at the index 100, right? And the index gold. These are the areas of the market that have tanked the most, right? From 99 points 
to 92 points, which is a huge drop. That's a really, really big drop, by the way. It doesn't look that big, but that's massive, right? That's a lot of cards being sold off. If we take a look at the index icons, uh, this it's actually gone up a bit. We went from 112 points, 111, all the way up to 114. So icons aren't being panic sold that much at the moment, uh, which is kind of interesting to me. It's very interesting to see these prices kind of holding steady and holding stable uh, on this market right now. We'll see if that continues into today. I honestly don't think that it would, but if it does stay pretty stable, then that could be a place on the market where you could look to try to trade and make some coins. It's gonna be a little bit tougher to make coins using the same methods we've done over the last day or two, um, like the position change, the chem style trading, you know, stuff like that. If there's less gameplay demand and less demand for people buying teams, some of those, um, those trades that you made before are gonna be a bit harder with less demand. So that's the story of the market right now. I know a lot of you guys are like, man, what should I do with this card? What should I do with this card? This market is just so volatile at the moment, it's crazy. It's crazy because everybody is worried about what's coming tomorrow on Friday. And we're gonna continue to talk about it and continue to watch it. And tomorrow is a big day, right? Even now, I would keep, just keep your eye on prices today, right? If you have cards that you feel like you still need to sell because they are gonna go lower, maybe try to get them out a little bit as early as possible because I do think some stuff is gonna start to continue to slide off or continue to go down in price. But I also think stuff's gonna get too low as we head into Friday and then we're gonna start to see a rise. So I'm curious to see how many more people panic sell today on Thursday. That'll be something that we'll keep an eye on. Watch those low tier cards like Lacroix, like again, Upa McConnell, keep an eye on him. Guys that are even extinct like um, Kempembe, Renato Sanchez that are lower rated, they get packed a lot. We'll keep an eye on those. And the team of the week cards, I wanna keep a close eye on those cards as well. But stick with it, right? Stay in the know, in the knowledge, watch this market and watch it fluctuate because again, just like we saw after Monday when everybody was scared about the supply, there is gonna be a boom, it's just coming. But right now it kind of sucks because some people lost coins, I lost them as well here and there. We did make it up with some trades, but that is just the pulse and the barometer of the market is people panic selling before that wants to watch promo right now. So that is the video for today, boys. Again, more price drop-offs today, potentially marquee matchups. I'm not sure what else content could be coming today on Thursday besides marquee matchups. They kept it really low key. And especially before a big day tomorrow on Friday, I think it's probably going to be a decently low key Thursday on this game. Good luck with your division rivals rewards. And if you have any questions, drop them down below. Again, hit a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate the Photo Count, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.